claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. We notice the word in that verse, images, and Paul, when he was writing the letter to Romans, he used that word to mean idols. Well, what does an idol look like? It could be an animal or a bird or a man or anything, really. It's what the foolish people with dark hearts of sin worship. Paul, he was straightforward in his language. Nobody could misunderstand him. Paul, he was talking to the group of the Gentiles and the Jews, but mostly the Gentiles. They needed to hear what Paul was saying about their worshiping of idols. Their eternal souls depended on their understanding the gospel that could pierce their hearts and cause them to turn to Christ. One of Paul's main points is that when people reject the one true God, it does not mean that they stop worshiping and just become neutral, no. They will worship other things. Could be sex, sexual immorality, a list of things. But God's wrath, it will be poured out in full on them in the final day for their idolatry. Now, if people keep on sinning and following their lusts, God will let them go and they will become worse in their sin. He'll let them do what they want. Understand that is God's judgment against them. He will let them go. Therefore God gave them up in the lusts of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. It's not like God is just helpless and doesn't know what to do, so he lets them go on sinning, no. God is like, say what you want, go on. It's like a dog that wanders in the forest and then it becomes lost and it never comes back. Why does God allow that? It's because they knew the truth but they did not believe it. Instead, they believed lies. They should have been worshiping God, but instead they worshiped things, animals, and other things that God created because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Paul, he explained about their darkening, their hearts and their sin becoming worse, worshiping other things, believing lies, and that's a warning to us. Secondly, that's a promise to those who reject the one true God. He is our creator. Those who continue in sin and refuse to stop, they become more and more enslaved to idolatry. Secondly, they become more and more blind to the truth. Is that what you and I want? No. It's important that we look to the Lord, who is above all things, and we stick to the truth that we depend on to resist the lies of the flesh, Satan, and the world.